guys, today I will be talking about electricity and circuits using my electricity and magnetism experiment kit. Let's get started! We use electricity every day. We use it to wash our clothes, light up our rooms, charge our phones, and watch television. And of course, to watch Michael does stuff! The switches in your room that controls the electricity to your lights. Try pressing or flipping them. What happens? Your light goes on and off. But how does it actually work? Let's find out by putting together some circuits and seeing what happens. A circuit is a loop of a conductive material which allows electricity to flow through it. Examples of conductive materials are metal, wires, and even your body. An uh, electric current always flows in a circle or a circuit. If there is a break in that circle, then the electricity stops flowing and your device or light turns off. Let me show you that electricity can flow through your body with this energy stick. When I hold both ends of the energy stick, the circuit is complete and the energy can easily flow through and turns on the light. When I let go of one end, the circuit is broken and the lights turn off. Let's build a circuit using the kit. First, let me build a simple circuit with the yellow battery box, alligator wires, and the light. Here I go, building a basic circuit with the yellow battery box, powered with two AA batteries, alligator clip wires, and a yellow light. I begin by connecting the red alligator clip to the positive side of the battery box and then attach the light to the other end of the wire. I then connect the blue alligator clip to the negative side of the battery box. to the other end of the light. As you can see, the light turns on and when I take off the clip, the light turns off. The electricity flows in a path through the entire circuit from one side of the box to the other. Now let's build one with more connectors, lights, and switches. This time to follow the electricity through the circuit. Just like the light switch in your room, this blue, this blue switch works the same way. This circuit is a bit more complicated and involves multiple switches green connectors, and lights. I begin from the positive end of the battery box by adding a small connector and then a wire. I then continue to construct the circuit on the negative side of the battery. I add more connectors and the first switch. This happens to be a button switch. Then the first of three lights get added. I continue to build out the circuit. 
As you can see on the green connector, the white lines. This shows you that the possible directions that electricity can flow. Like a road through the circuit where the switches are the stop lights that cause the power to flow or stop. Just like the switches in your house. As you can see, there are now three possible loops for the electricity to flow. I push the first button and only the yellow light turns on. I now go through the, and flip the other switches and show the different paths. I can even turn on all switches and all the lights can turn on at once. Electricity can go different paths at once. Now let's add a fan motor to the circuit and see what happens when I push the button. Now I will replace the yellow light with a fan motor. Everything else stays the same for this circuit. Just like before, as I push the button and flip the switches, the fan and lights go on and off. Also, I can turn on all the switches and everything can run at the same time. Remember kids that electricity can be dangerous and experimenting with kids like this one should be done with adult supervision. I hope that you learned something about electricity with this video. I know I have learned quite a bit when I started experimenting with this kit. But before I go, I want to remind you guys to stay good, high, and happy! Bye!